my pull. Dang it. I should have put it up in the rod holder. Life lesson, don't hang it off the side no more. Oh. I almost had it too. I don't know if I could hook it quick. Let's see if I can hook it on something here. I lost a rod. That really bums me out. That was right here somewhere. Seven feet. Shoot. I don't know if I'm going to get it. A nice light action jig and pull, too. I really like that pull. Oh, if it was a big enough fish, it, it would have yanked it wherever it wanted to. But I'm hoping it just went to the bottom and just pulled it down and sunk right to the bottom here. I think it'd be easy hooking a rod down on the bottom where you kind of know where it's at, but it's not. I got my, yep, I got my line back. Just a lousy cap that I did that. I was really going to be bummed out. I didn't think I was going to get it again. This is the culprit that drug it in right here. This little bugger right here pulled my rod in almost caused me to have a really bad day but I'm gonna let him go I should keep him but I'm not oh that makes me feel so much better okay so yeah the memo is for now on to hook that in too but this I always got to put it up there every time now oh I'm so lucky to get that back Is that you, Casting? Something just jumped right there. A little bass. Is there? Ooh, 
That feels decent there. I got that on my, it was my crawler harness hanging off the side I got him on. <laughs> it wasn't even my pole. I felt something tugging on me. Really good looking catfish out of here. Most time when I catch them, they're all like sickly red looking and then leeches all over them. Next to the tree? Right out there. Right hiding up there like a bass, huh? Yeah, that's why I thought it was a bass. I didn't care for it until he surfaced up and I was like, oh crap. Oh, there I got something. Oh, nice. nice. Could be a walleye. I'm hoping so. I think it's a channel cat. It's crazy how they've been hitting that. Like, they've been coming actually at it. Never had a catfish usually take it on the bottom, laying there. Oh, hopefully, you don't knock my worm or my bait off. Another one. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. They've been, I think it's a channel cat. Yeah, they've been hitting it too when I'm reeling in. I'm not letting, you know, like letting it sit on the bottom for like a minute. I 
mean, if you were going to eat them, I guess this would be a perfect size to get. There we go, another one. Oh, quick release. There we got something. I think it's a cat. Yeah, he's fighting like one. Oh no, that's a smallmouth. Yeah, he kind of came in a little too easy there. Yeah, and he took that soft plastic right off. They don't last with these smallmouth. Yeah, they're not real big, are they? Another one. Really good looking colors though. something. I don't know what it is. He hit it hard though. He came up for it. Is that a channel cat? That one, I was literally, I was above the tree line when I got that one. Another channel cat right there. Probably about 16 inches. I think this is honestly the first time I've gotten catfish actually jigging with a soft tail like that. I've never, usually I get them on the bottom with something like a worm or a minnow. Yeah. Oh, there we got something. I'm pretty sure it's a small mo. Oh, it's a channel cat. I didn't think that was gonna get a channel cat. He hit it hard and fast. Yep. Just got another one, like GoPro shut off on there. Oh, there we go. One. There we got something. Oh, there we got one. Missed one there. Oh, came back for it. There I got it. Oh, another little one. Just a little guy there. There we go. Another one in the kayak there. There we go. Not the biggest one in the lake, but 